hi guys welcome to code bashers so guys in this particular video we will be discussing latest mathematical ability questions which were asked in infosys system engineer exam so as you all know that currently infosys system engineer on campus hiring is going on okay and regularly exams are happening so i have started the preparation series for infosys system engineer on this channel okay previously also lot of videos you are in different different sections i have already uploaded on this channel so after watching this video make sure to check out this playlist i will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box make sure to watch each and every video because lot of questions do get repeated in the exams okay so guys before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because every like and subscribe motivates us for making more such videos and guys do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students you can already see that 11312 students have joined this telegram group and here discussions regarding different different exams whether it is tcs accenture infosys tech mahindra are happening here the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do join it so guys now let's start this video before starting do hit that like button okay so guys the first question here is a person travels 300 km in 6 hours partly by train and partly by car the speed of the train is 60 km per hour and that of a car is 40 km per hour. How much distance did he travel by train? Okay, so total distance that is to distance traveled by train and distance traveled by car is 300. Okay, total distance is 300. He, the speed of the train is 60 km and the speed of the car is 40 km. Now we know that the formula for calculating distance is distance is equal to S into T. Now total distance is given. So total distance is given as 300 so distance covered by train plus distance covered by car is 300 now what is the distance covered by train so 60 s into t distance covered by train is speed of train into time taken by train that is let's suppose t it is okay plus distance covered by car what is the distance covered by car 40 that is speed into t and what is t total 6 hours it took so it is 6 minus t okay now this is the total distance of 300 now we have to solve this particular equation so 60 t plus 40 into 6 is 240 minus 40 t is equal to 300 okay now let's just solve this equation 20 t equal to 60 t equal to 3 so t is coming out to be 3 so this t is 3 this t is 3 okay so how much is the distance did he travel by train so 60 into t that is 180 so 180 is the correct answer so 180 kilometer he traveled by train i hope now it is clear to you okay yeah so let's move towards the next question next question is a can complete a work in 12 days b can complete it in 16 days they start together but a leaves after four days how long will b take to finish the remaining work so we have done this type of questions in class 11th and 12th also so a work so a's work one day's work a's one day work is 1 by 12 because entire work he can do in 12 days so one day work will, will be 1 by 12 b's one one day work will be 16 that is 1 by 16 okay now they both start together okay they both start together and uh, and for, uh, for starting four days they both work together and for the remaining work b is al alone so the for the four days how many how much total work has been done so 4 into 1 by 12 that is one day work of a plus 4 into one day work of b so this is the total work that has been done in four days okay by both of them together so what it will be it will be 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 uh, sorry 4 into 16 4 into 1 by 12 yeah so it will be sorry 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 it will be 1 by 3 it will be 1 by 4 so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 that is 7 by 12 this is the amount of work they both have done together in four days now how much how much work is left if we consider one as the whole work 7 by 12 has been done so remaining work will be 1 minus 7 by 12 and 5 by 12 okay so remaining work we all know is 5 by 12 as i've told you how it is let me just remove this just a second <clears throat> yeah remaining work is 5 by 12 now this remaining work 
B has to do alone. So how much time he will take to finish the work? So 5 by 12 is the remaining work and 1 by 16 is the work B can do in one day. So we will solve this equation. It will be this will go with 12, uh, this will go with 3, this will go with 4. So 20 by 3 that is 6.6 .6 days. So yeah, approximately 6 days he will take more to complete the remaining work. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Let's move toward the next question. A train 150 meter long is running at a speed of 72 km per hour. How long will it take to cross a platform 200 meter long? So again simple formula speed is equal to distance by time. Here what is the total distance? Okay. So we need to first of all we need to calculate the time. So time is equal to distance by speed. So what is the <coughs> total distance? Total distance is 150 plus 200 so 350 meter so 0.35 kilometer speed is 72 so what we have to find the time so now we have to find the time in the seconds but solving this equation it will give the time in the uh, kilometers so we will solve this equation okay 72 kilometer per hour so how many meter per hour we have need to calculate that and we will get the time so i think the time will come approximately around 18 seconds i am not sure but you just have to solve this equation to get this particular time the main thing to note here is in such questions both of these lengths do get added okay i hope now i have made my point clear now guys before moving ahead towards the next question many of you were asking me sir where we should prepare for the infosys exam so i have told you in previous videos also that on the top mid page of code bashers we have infos infosys system engineer exam preparation material if you will open this material you will find out that in this particular material you will find total seven sections for the sc role in uh, once you will get this material total seven pdfs you will be getting every pdf corresponding to every section and in every pdf there is around 100 plus previously asked questions that have been solved okay which have been asked in infosys only so all the questions discussed in these sections contains previously asked questions in a well structured pdf so once you will get this material you will get all these pdfs all these sections and all the previous year questions with answers have been discussed here okay let me show you the sample of let's suppose this pdf so this is a reasoning pdf so you can see here we have given a proper question we have given the proper options and the proper answer is also given so for every section you will get a similar pattern and these are very well structured pdfs so if you are interested in this material you can check in the description box it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links are in the description box if you want to check it okay so now let's continue in this video okay so the next question is two candidate contest in election one of gets 65 percent of the votes and the other gets 3500 votes how many total votes were cast this is a simple question the other person got 35 percent a vote 35 percent stands for 3500 votes it's that simple so total votes will be 100 percent and that will be counted to 10,000. so 10,000 is the correct answer here i hope now this question is clear to you it's basic okay next is the average of seven consecutive numbers is 13. what is the largest of these numbers what is the largest of these numbers so seven consecutive numbers how we can form it okay let's just suppose the middle number is x okay the middle number is x the previous three numbers will be x minus 1, x minus 2, plus x minus 3. And the ahead numbers will be x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. Now, this is equivalent to all these numbers. If you will take and divide it by 7, the average will be equivalent to 13 as given in the question. So, you can see here minus 1 plus 1 got cut here minus 2 plus 2 got cut here minus 3 plus 3 got cut here so total it will be 7x okay 7x is equivalent to 7 and uh, 7x by 7 and 13 so this and this get cancel x is 13 and we have to find the largest number so it will be 13 plus 3 will be the largest number this is x so 16 is the correct option here i hope now this question is also clear to you so if you are finding this video useful till here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and make sure to join the telegram group the links are in the description box next is a sum triples in 15 years under simple interest what is the rate of interest per annum so what is the simple formula of simple interest so interest 
इंटरेस्ट इक्वल इंटू पी प्रिंसिपल इंटू आर इंटू टी डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड ओके सो वट इज इंटरेस्ट सी सम हैज ट्रिपल इन थर्टीन ईयर सो ट्रिपल मीन दैट इंटरेस्ट इज इफ इफ सम वॉज पी इफ द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट वॉज पी एंड इट हैज गॉट थ्री पी आफ्टर फिफ्टीन ईयर सो वट वॉज इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट वॉज टू पी बिकॉज पी प्लस टू पी ओनली थ्री पी ओके सो इंटरेस्ट वॉज टू पी पी इन टू आर वी नीड टू फाइंड टाइम इज फिफ्टीन ईयर्स डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड सो पी गॉट कैंसल्ड हेयर पी गॉट कैंसल्ड हेयर ओके सो इट विल बी हंड्रेड Into two divided by fifteen. Hundred into two divided by fifteen. Let me just do it. Two hundred divided by fifteen. What it will be? It will be approx thirteen percent. Approx thirteen percent. Yeah. This is the correct answer here. So I hope now we have found out how how are we have found out. So I hope it's clear to you. Next question. If the ratio of the ages of A and B is four is to three, and the sum of their ages is twenty eight years, what is the age of A? so ratio of a and b is equal to 4 by 3 this is what given in the question and their sum is like 28 years so first of all let's make a relation so a a is equal to 4 by 3 of b this is a relation now we have given the sum of a plus b is equal to 28 we have this relation 4 by 3 of b plus b is 28 now once we will add it it will get 7 by 3 of b Is equal to twenty eight. So B is equal to solving this seven got cancelled here four. So B equal to twelve. B is twelve. We have to find the age of A. So A is age will be sixteen. So sixteen is the correct answer. So B was twelve. So A was sixteen. Therefore sum was twenty eight. I hope now this question is clear to you. Let's move towards the next question. Last question. This is the last question of this particular video. I hope. You are liking this video, and if you have not subscribed the channel till now, please do it. Okay, every subscribe gives us motivation for making more such videos. A man walks five kilometers towards north. So man is standing here, five kilometers towards north. Then turns right and walks three kilometers. Then th turn right, walks three kilometers. He again turns right and walks five kilometers. Again turn right, walks five kilometers. Finally, he turns left and walks two kilometers. He turns left from here and walks two kilometers. How far is he from his starting point? So he, it was the starting point here. We have we are here. So answer will be one. Uh, so one is not in the option, but answer should be one. So five walks again. Let's just say five is north. Then turns right and walks three kilometer. He again turns right and walks five kilometer. Finally he turns left and walks two kilometer. Yeah. So remaining is one kilometer. So answer should be one kilometer. Not in the option. So yeah, answer is one kilometer. So I hope now this question is also clear. so in this particular preparation series what i am trying to do for every section i am trying to find out the different different type of questions which can come in your exam and can help you okay so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because lot more such videos not just for infosys but other the companies also i am planning in future so make sure to be present on this channel and guys make sure to be to joining this telegram group because lot of discussions regarding 2025 batch hiring are going on in this group okay and if you are preparing for your infosys exam you want some preparation material you can check out these preparation material on this top mid page of ours the links you can find in the description box in this all the previous the asked questions are there and all the section are covered so don't worry about that okay so this will be a good preparation material for you so guys this was it for this video thank you for watching this video